They call me Banana Man. That crazy, right? Of course. You're very Asian. Very loud. But Ted say there are no visible evidence of my heritage. People Magazine. Didn't we have a subscription to Changna Bori Maung Weekly? Well, I guess it must have run out. There's not one stinking trace of our homeland in this place. If stranger walk in here, he says, Ah, oh, this must be where Johnny Smith live. Not Khan Sufa... Uh, Khan Stup... Oh, my God. I cannot say my own name. Oh, calm down now. You can still say your own name. You're just freaking out right now. You spoke perfect loud to your own mother just last week. Wait, are you, are you saying goodnight or are you cursing at me? Ah! You see, Connie can't even speak loud. That is messed up, man. Hmm, maybe you're right. We could connect a little more to our heritage. Yes, that's an excellent plan. Connie, you remember the gong we hit during American Idol? Let me show you what it's really for. Huh. These weeds weren't here yesterday. Hands off, redneck. That my celery. The Lao people are self-sufficient. We grow our own food. We don't rely on big supermarket to nurse us like helpless calf at mother's teat. Well, okay then. We're gonna swim now. Have fun, hopeless Americans. Enjoy splashing around in your river that leads to nowhere. Yeah, great to be back in touch with my roots. Men by beautiful piece by Lao artist. Painting of people toiling in rice paddies. It's great to support Lao culture, Cod. But your home is still a shrine to American material luxury. I guess I'm a little confused. I cannot help but notice your state-of-the-art home theater system and your four-car garage. Sure, I owed all these things, but they don't owed me. Ah. I'll try to explain. This is man of Luang Nam Tha, carved by a native Highlander more than 300 years ago. It's the embodiment of the Lao spirit. This is my link. As long as I carry this, everything else is meaningless. So I just keep one of those in my pocket and I can have a big screen TV. You got an extra one of those guys lying around? Unfortunately, you're not ready yet. It wouldn't mean to you what it means to me. So, what for dinner? Is that a joke? You know damn well it's rice and meat. Oh, of course. I get so used to American diet of extreme variety. Yeah, this better. Oh. <laughs> I will now tell stories of my childhood in Laos. Growing up in the village, I had two chickens. One of them was named Fuma. Marco! Solo! I don't recall the name of the other chicken, but sometimes I would put both of the chickens in the wheelbarrow. This was very funny. I'm a submarine. Would it shame our entire people if I sit on chair? This is not about comfort. This is about being true to who we are. It's about never being called banana again. What we need is to focus harder. Oh, God! What the hell did you do to our swimming pool? It now reflecting pool. We need peaceful space in which we can meditate. We had a deal. Oh, you had deal with old Khan, the homogenized, Americanized Khan. That Khan no longer exists, and neither does Pua. 